Ask Reddit thread. Reddit, what is a mild inconvenience you face every day? My girlfriend's alarm on her phone. Alarm snooze, second alarm snooze, third alarm snooze. Same. Like, if I can get up already, I'm trying to sleep. Every day she gets up way earlier than me too, eventually. Don't say that in slash relationships, they'll tell you to dump the bitch. I would really recommend you both get therapy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yes, that's annoying. That's only what a really asshole person would do. If you have someone else sleeping in the room. Unexpected item in baggage area. Pretty much every time I use self-checkout. Please place the item in baggage area. Please wait for assistance. I don't know. I use one of these things very regularly and I never get that. Sometimes. But considering how many times I do use it, I would say it's in the vast minority of times. I'm a cashier at Walmart. I can tell you how to use self-scans properly. Now, please know that they are programmed horribly, so sometimes you may fuck up at no fault in your own. I don't want to read all that. That's a lot. Oh, too long didn't ring. The self-checkouts are easy to use. Just be attentive and patient with them. Be concise with your bagging and pay attention to the lights underneath the monitor. Just remember, they are programmed very badly, so sometimes they may fuck up in ways that leave me going, what the fuck? Train scheduling. It is timed so that exactly when my train arrives at the station, my connecting is just closing the doors. It's not even possible to run for it, and they connect only times once every half hour. <laughs> the amount of rage I would induce on that daily, you must have the patience. <laughs> that does sound awful. <laughs> I quit my last job because the buses were like that. A 45 minute commute, commute would regularly be one and a half hours because the bus was late. Uh, missed time traffic lights. There's a set of lines at consecutive intersections that turn red precisely the wrong time, so you have to stop at every single one. There's a place where you have like two lights every hundred yards apart, which is stupid enough, but sometimes the far lights will be red while the closed ones will be green. The traffic is backed up from red, so you can't go anywhere. Rage initiated. Uh, how you can't politely remove myself from reply all email chains. So much irrelevant shit. For Gmail, you can mute the conversation, and for Outlook, you can ignore conversation. Hopefully that helps you make your life less awful. I have a lot of difficulty pronouncing my own name, so whenever I try to introduce myself, it takes a while. What? Oh my god, thank god I'm the only one. I feel like I can't say my own name properly. Kind of like I mumble and, sh and swallow the sound down on the last syllable. My friends say it perfectly fine, but have a tendency to shorten it so I feel like it doesn't flow nicely even if they can still say it. What type of difficulty? Sounds or fluency? I have to get up and do things. <laughs> Just do it! Uh, this is more than a mild inconvenience for me at the moment. I work in a nuclear power plant. We have to go through metal detectors, bomb sniffers, and x-ray our bags, etc. to get into the plant. It's like going through a TSA checkpoint every goddamn day. To their credit throw. To their credit though. At least our security guards aren't a bunch of incompetent shitheads. While I feel for you as an individual, I gotta say I'm kind of relieved to hear that there's such strict security to get into a nuclear power plant. There are also tons of procedures and systems of checks and balances to make sure stuff that shouldn't go in doesn't go in, and much more importantly, stuff that shouldn't go out doesn't go out. Lots of anti-terrorist architecture as well. Some stuff to make sure you can't arrive at a speed and crash through it, or if you detonate a bomb you won't be able to get close enough to cause damage to important stuff. Lots of new designs are also made to make sure even an airliner think 737 size can crash into the rick to the reactor buildings without causing damage to the reactor and lead to loss of containment containment they test crashing a jet into a piece of wall for a nuclear reactor the jet was totally destroyed the paint on the wall might have been scratched slightly damn i have a friend that worked at one too there was also one of the biggest complaints he got up to 3 a.m. to work at 12 hour shift from 6 to 6, but actually had to be at work at 5 so he could go through security and get to his post. Then didn't get home till 8 because it took another half hour more after a shift to get out. Well, I mean, working 12 hours at any job seems like a huge pain in the ass. Same scenario here except for the guards. Uh, my cell phone charger table is just not quite long enough to comfortably charge my phone in bed. I'm taking, wait, I'm talking one more inch and I'd be golden. <laughs> my cell phone charger cable is just not quite long enough. I swear to God, if one more person tells me to buy a longer cable, I'm going to find the Trent and punch him in the face. What, why don't you just buy a longer cord? If it's a minor inconvenience, just do it. I, 
I'll buy stuff if it gets rid of a minor inconvenience. I was kidding. I do use a power strip. Uh, cleaning my teeth. I know it's a daily necessity, but I just find it so boring and time consuming. <laughs> I can't like to supervise my brushing most mornings. His judgment keeps me on track. For some reason, I like brushing my teeth. It's oddly soothing. My laptop battery lasts only for 15 minutes, and the charging port is really loose. I have to twiggle it occasionally to make sure it stays in. Oh, that sounds terrible. My cat is friendly in that he likes to come up and lick you, or do the head bump thing, or the little stomp stomp dance, or a little face poke, and purr is like a damn freight train. Every day at 2.45, and at 3.30, and at 5.15 in the morning. Fucker. <laughs> My cat will cry, knock things over, and basically attack us to get fed at 5 a.m. We started giving him a double portion before bed to stop this, but he'll still do it until we wake up at that point. Out the ball, full of food to him. And don't even get me started on daylight savings times, little idiot. Uh, getting my shower temperature so that it's just right. I have a very temperamental shower. Wearing glasses. Wearing glasses isn't too bad, so you get a smudge and you don't have a cleaning cloth, so you have to use your t-shirt and it gets smeared around. I've been wearing glasses so long that I don't even notice them unless I get a smudge. Yeah, you learn to identify the types of smudges and which ones can be cleaned with a t-shirt and which ones are just going to smear all over the lens. Ooh, I used to wear glasses for a while. Before, when I wasn't able to afford contacts, I wore glasses for like six months. Ugh. That sucked. Because I like to lay in my bed and watch anime on my, on my Kindle. And with glasses, that's a huge pain in the ass because you can't just throw your face into a pillow with glasses on. I love my contacts. I had an appointment to get contact lenses. They put them in for me at first, and I was so happy to be able to see perfectly without glasses for the first time in years. They took them back out and started showing me how to put them in. I had three appointments which lasted 30 minutes each, and I wasn't able to put a single lens into my eyes. They're too chinky. I gave up at the third appointment, which was months ago. Thanks to all your tips, I may finally be able to pull this off, or rather, stick it in. I don't think you're allowed to use that word. I'm a nut. I'm crazy in the coconut. This boy needs therapy. <laughs> Yeah, contacts are kind of a pain in the ass to put in at first. I was having issues during my training. After about 25 minutes of trying, they told me, that's fine, some people have to take multiple visits to be able to do this. The immediate thought of having to inconvenience self by returning to this place repeated overwhelmed me. I pulled my eyelids back as hard as I could and crammed the contacts in my eyes without, with the fevered ferocity of someone trying to escape a death trap puzzle from the movie Zoss. <laughs> <laughs> the X Games Redditor Edition. That's the key. You gotta stop pussyfooting around. Just go for it. I figured out in 8th grade after getting so frustrated and crying. Eventually I was like, listen you fucker. You're going in my eye. And I did it. I think that's around the time I got my contacts too. Like the end of 8th grade, early ninth grade. It might have been in 8th grade. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Those 15 seconds after turning off the shower in the morning and it feels like negative 50 degrees. I wish it was that cold here. It's hot. It's always hot. I do not speak fluent Korean. Move to Korea. That'll fix the mild problem. I'm here already. That's the problem. And it's only mild inconvenience. I'm good at reading body language and I speak fluent Korean. I think everyone lives in Korea speaks fluent Konglish. What? Uh, tinnitus. Every day. Forever. Mwop mwop. Mine's like a high-pitched whine that's constantly there in one ear. Pretty distracting. Even my AC unit isn't loud enough to mask it. The only time I don't notice is when I'm in the shower. I shower more than I'm used to now. He's doing archer thing. Every morning, I trip slightly while walking through this section of interlocking sidewalk my way to work in the city. I don't fall over. It doesn't hurt. Hell, it barely even breaks my stride. But 9 out of 10 times while walking through this damn section of interlock, the sole of my shoe will catch on a lifted brick. Even if it's only slightly protruding by one millimeter, and I stumble slightly, I have tried to make a conscious effort to pick up my feet to no avail. I expect it now. I have learned to accept this mild inconvenience as part of my life. I have tried to... Wait, <laughs> what? Why does he have shoes on? <laughs> oh, my brother does not understand how to turn the door handle before he pushes on the door. He just slams into the door, then turns the handle to open it. It just, I'll just be getting to sleep and then boom. Sounds like your brother's dumb or something. 
The backrest fell off the chair in my room the other day. Now it's just a glorified stool and I'm too lazy to go buy another one. Life is hard. Waking up. Waking up is a mild inconvenience, but getting out of bed is a whole different level. Just open your eyes, look up to the sky, and see. If what if you're waking up and look up at the sky, you've got bigger problems, namely someone stolen your roof. Uh, I see, every time I start up another existential crisis over eventually being dead, I remember how much I love sleep. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Infinite app and no bills. Sign me up. Sleep is the best. I think it's the getting out of bed part that's the mild inconvenience. 15 second ads on YouTube. I use some kind of ad blogging software. I wasn't even aware that YouTube had ads until recently. I feel so out of loop sometimes because I have ad block and don't watch TV. When people reference commercials, I have no idea what they're talking about. I can't stand ads though, so it's totally worth it. Did you see the commercial? No. God, those are still a thing. <laughs> uh, 67 YouTube ads were the reasons I got ad blocker. Uh, let's see. As I set my browser to private mode, I have to input all my passwords individually. Stop using browser's input password manager. Use late pass or key pass. I'm slightly too short to reach most things on top shelves at work and home. As a diabetic, having to take a needle every time I eat. Ooh, that sucks. I can't turn on or off my bedroom lights from my bed. I have to walk three steps. I don't even have a light switch in my bedroom. I mean, there's one there, but it doesn't work. Chargers slash adapters that take up more than one power slot. I'm deaf in my left ear, so I always have to make sure that people are talking to me on my right side. Using scissors designed for right-handed people, and similar devices designed for right-handed people. None of it's too difficult, but there are days when it gets a bit annoying. My smartphone is old and senile, and new unlocked one costs an arm and a leg. Wait, my smartphone is old and senile, and a new unlocked one costs an arm and a leg. Why not go secondhand? Why don't I just drink from the toilet? <laughs> Good advice, Dad. Having to browse right at an uncomfortable desk for a few hours instead of at comfort at home. Uh, having to browse right at a few. Wait, having to browse Reddit at an uncomfortable desk for a few hours instead of in the comfort at home. Ladder wells, ladder wells, and more ladder wells. I work on a ship. I went to Paris Island, and I lived on the third deck, 2nd Battalion Echo Company. I hate ladder wells, but now I have tight glutes. What's a ladder well? Putting in the USB, ca putting in the USB cable correctly the first time. Well, it's not a mild inconvenience, but fucking mildly infuriating one. My gym is on the underground floor of an apartment building. I go there every morning. The lights on this floor automatically turn on at 8 a.m., but I like to work out at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. before work. When I get down there, everything is bitch black and it's creepy as hell down there. I'm talking dark hallways, corridors, and a bunch of doors that won't open for some reason. It's a very old building and the basement is clearly ancient. Anyways, I get down at 6 at 6.30, can't see shit, and I have to run like Houston Bolt from the elevator across the room to the light switch which I have to fill up the wall finding. It scares me out of my wits every single morning. i just waiting for an axe murder to snatch me in the dark. Here's some images. Oh. That does seem like a nice setup for an axe murderer to just kill you. See, pictures right here really add to this story because I was like, what? That's not scary. Uh, automatic automobile door locks. The kind that engage when the vehicle's in motion and disengage when the car stops. I'd rather do it myself. Don't stand in front of the subway doors. Wait for people to exit before entering the train. You slow everything down, you selfish dicks. Oh, you selfish fucks. Sorry, I read that wrong. I work in a job where we frequently work in different small teams, so a lot of coffee and tea runs. Every time I'm taking the order and ask how much sugar everyone takes, they're always the person who says, none for me, I'm sweet enough. Always. Every damn time. <laughs> I have nowhere to hang my towels. So I have to balance it on the radiator. It falls off every single day without fail. Uh, the traffic lights that take slightly too long to change to red so I can cross. Walking to Kerr Rig and I forget my K cup. I then have to. I then get my K cup and go back only to realize 
the Keurig is out of water. I never check the water before walking away, despite this rather common occurrence. Living on the third floor and having to take the dog out. Ooh, that would suck to have a dog in an apartment building. The daily game of cat slash baby airlock. Now with the bonus roof window entry. Cat only. The interval ends far too early in the morning with the baby screaming in my face or a cat ripping up the carpet to be let in. My house Wi-Fi barely reaches my toilet, so I can't use my phone while taking a shit. What? How, how, why do people take so long in the toilet? I never understood that. There's always this thing I read about redditing on the toilet. But like, are you people that constipated? You should change your diet. My house's Wi-Fi barely... Oh, I coast all the way to light and come to complete stop. The light turns green, so I just stop. Rage mode. Having to wake up so that I can work all day to get ready to go to bed. <laughs> I want a life where it's constantly 2 a.m. I'm high and just about to go to bed and have a lovely wink. Okay. Uh, trying to determine if the power rack at the gym is being used or some asshole just left 275s in the bar and left. The buses stop in the lane here, rather than a special curbside cutout for the bus stop. The bus slows down traffic for a whole line of cars to pick up one person at each stop. What? The buses stop in the lane here rather than a special curbside cutout for the bus stop. The buses. Oh. Oh, that is annoying. Having to wait for traffic lights to change, especially when your bus is on the other side of the road about to drive off. The fact that when I go into the metro, it's only an escalator going up, so I have to walk to the middle of the platform to get to the stairs. This adds an extra 30 seconds to my, es 30 seconds to my escape. And by this time, another train comes in a few seconds before at the opposite track, so the gates become packed from people at the other side. If I could trim 15 seconds off my escape, I wouldn't need to queue up with 100 people to get through the gate. Wind chill tends to be about negative 30 degrees outside the moment. So close. What? People. Fucking school zones. My alarm clock doesn't face my bed because of the length of the cord. So if I want to check the time at night, I have to roll over and lean over my nightstand to see the time. I always want to pee after I settle in my bed. Right before I'm about to go to bed, I have to go to the bathroom and take my contacts off. My phone battery will always make it through the workday. But the moment I want to do anything fun or exciting after work, I don't have enough battery for it to last. Oily faces and frizzly hair makes looking professional at work a fucking bitch. Alright. Lots of minor inconveniences that I didn't really know about.